Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Now, we've finally finished our um, humidity or temperature gauge into the high tunnel hoop house. So I just wanted to go through a bit of a recap about how we've set this up. So now that we've got our solar um, hut here, this is housing our batteries. We've got two six volt batteries. Uh, we've just joined those ones together to make it 12 volt through the solar panel into the solar charge controller and we're charging up. Now, yesterday was quite warm. You wouldn't know today, today's freezing. So this is just going through the motions now of, of picking up whatever charge it can during the day or at the moment now. So what we'll do is I'll take you back inside to the uh, high tunnel hoop house where it's a lot warmer and I'll show you how we've set up these temperature control gauges and mate, and it's working a treat. I can't believe it. So I'll see you next door. See you soon. All right, so here we are back at the warmth of the um, high tunnel hoop house here. Now, we've had to um, sort of delay a lot of work going on in here. Now, what we found was a we had a resident, um, a little, well, when I say a little, it was big enough for me. It was a, a brown snake. Now, it went from hoop to hoop, you know, so it was pretty full on, and it lived down there. And I needed to work here, and I don't like snakes at all. So we had to wait for the snake catcher to come in and do his thing and, and move him off to better pastures. So, um, my God, mate, it was freaking me out. <laughs> I, couldn't, I could not get, I just could not get inside the hoop house. It was always there. So anyway, he's now gone. The snake catcher was um, yesterday. So I thought, perfect opportunity to get this up and running. And I had this up and running yesterday. And, and I thought I'd show you how we've set it all up. Now, what I was waiting on was these little temperature controllers. Now, these little guys here um, are the 12 volt direct current. So, so we've got direct voltage coming in from the batteries. Now, the way that this has got all set up now is that I've got two controllers for two fans. Okay, so remembering last time, we had one down at the opposing end and then we've got this one set up here. Now, these will draw the cool air into the high tunnel hoop house. Now, each one of these fans, geez, I'm to remember now, I think it was about every 15 minutes that it would circulate the whole volume that we have here in the high tunnel hoop house. So, with two fans, we're doing that in around about the odd seven minute mark. So, what, the, what these things do, and you can see... You know, they're a little bit inconsistent with with the temperature. Um, but these guys here, this is the anode or the temperature sensor. So you can see as I'm holding that, that's going up now. All right, and then as I let it go, that'll all just start dropping back down again. But look, th they're a cheap little unit. And th these ones are from eBay. So um, look, I think you're always going to find some sort of inconsistencies and, and whatever it may be, if it's the sensors or whatever it might, you know, anyway, they're cheap. So the way that we've got this set up, now these can be wired or set up in two different formats. One is a cooling and one is like if you wanted to put um, hot air, move hot air around, like in, inside a house or something like that. But so we wanted them for cooling. So... There's quite a few settings, and I won't go through all the bits and pieces, but if you're going to be looking at them, it says PO there and P1. All right, now, so what we've got is I'll just press PO to start with. That's my start temperature, which is 30 degrees. So what will end up happening is that the fan will turn on at 30. Now, I had to do a bit of mucking around with this, um, to work it all out. Now, that there is, which was P1, and I'll find that again, P1 per set is 29 degrees. So what we're finding here is that the, the fan will turn on at 30 and off at 29. All right, so while we've got that, the hot air in here, the fans are gonna be continu continuously running. Once it drops down to 29, like what we said, um, it'll then turn off. Now that's 
on one of them, and then the other one we've set for a little bit higher. So we've got PO1. So this one will be turning off at 31, and it'll be turning on at 32. So I've just got them set at one degree difference. So that took me a little bit to work out yesterday. It was because I didn't come with instructions. So it was a little bit of a, a quick research on the computer. And I found a, a fellow in India or whatever it may be, um, Rojax, I think his name was. And he did a little bit of an explanation about how to put it all together. And it worked out all right. Now, and he was spot on. So we've got our 12 volt fans, 80 watt. So if you have a look down this end, I'm sure we can, um, you can see further down the other fan. So I've got that plumbed in the same. And that's on the opposing side. So that then also draws in cooler temperatures and sends it through to the other end. Now, what we have found yesterday when we were going through the exam, um, sort of setting them all up, was that the, the whole process of actually cooling the place down worked a treat. So, you know, I was thinking, geez, it's going to take quite a while to, um, to, to have that temperature drop. But the fans ran for about 10 minutes and that was it. Temperature dropped because it pushed all that hot air out. It drawed all the, the fresh, um, you know, cool air in. And, um, hey, and it was just like, you know, it was on, it was off, it was on, it was off. So, I probably would have thought that yesterday, after we got it all set up in the afternoon, oh, and you know, I was mucking around here yesterday doing a lot of cleaning up because of our resident, or, you know, so I probably heard it turn on probably about 10 times. So whoosh, temperature dropped and it turned off. So the little thermostat controllers are, are working well. And, um, and so here we go. So now we're ready for summer to start getting all the circulation through. So, for all about getting 12 volt circulation fans into your high tunnel hoop house, like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.